This video is a supplement to my blog post on readyforeternity.com about the search for the ancient biblical city of Sodom. A link to the blog post is in the description below. Recent archaeological research has built a strong and compelling case that Tal al-Hammam in Jordan is the ancient city of Sodom. The Bible gives us clues for locating the ancient cities of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 13. Abraham and his nephew Lot had become rich in livestock, so much so that the land wasn't able to support their two combined herds. Abraham proposed that they separate into two groups, and he gave Lot the first choice of which way to go. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself from me. If you take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you take the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and saw that the Jordan Valley was well watered everywhere like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt in the direction of Zoar. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself all the Jordan Valley, and Lot journeyed east. Thus they separated from each other. Abram settled in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the valley and moved his tent as far as Sodom. The Bible is clear that the Jordan Valley and Sodom were east of Abraham and Lot when Lot made his choice. So, where were they when Lot gazed out over the Jordan Valley? Now, Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. And he journeyed on from the Negev as far as Bethel to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai. This is a Google Earth simulation of a vantage point on Highway 60 between Bethel and I, looking east. This vantage point is on a ridge that is about 2,800 feet above sea level. In the simulation, the camera will always be pointing toward Tal El Hammam, which is the probable site of ancient Sodom. We are looking across the Jordan Valley into the nation of Jordan. The Jordan River is at the lowest point in the valley and is the border between Jordan and Israel. It's difficult to perceive the differences in elevation as we fly across the valley. The Jordan River, just north of the Dead Sea, is approximately 1,250 feet below sea level. This makes the bottom of the Jordan Valley 4,000 feet below the ridge where Abraham and Lot may have been looking out over the valley. As this simulation shows, Tal El Hammam is situated in the region where the Bible describes Sodom as being located. Genesis offers us another clue in chapter 18 about Sodom's location. In this chapter, God and two angels visit Abraham where he was dwelling near the Oaks of Mamre. This location would have been in or near the modern-day city of Hebron. After this encounter, the Bible says that Abraham and his visitors looked down toward Sodom. Then the men set out from there, and they looked down toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to set them on their way. To the east of Hebron is a ridge line which runs north and south. This prevents anyone in Hebron from seeing the area of the Dead Sea. However, notice that the text says that Abraham accompanied his visitors as they were leaving. Therefore, they had walked to a place where the area of Sodom could be seen. We don't know where Abraham and his visitors were when they looked down toward Sodom, but it is interesting to note that the plain of the Jordan is visible from the hills just east of Hebron. Now what about those who say that the ruins of Sodom and the other cities of the plain lie below the water at the southern end of the Dead Sea? Well, while Abraham could have looked toward the southern end of the Dead Sea from the hills east of Hebron, the cities, had they been there, would have been below the horizon. So there's no way that Abraham would have been able to see the cities if they were at the southern end of the Dead Sea. You can read more about this fascinating topic on my blog, readyforeternity.com. The link is in the description below.